The latest product for the solar centre is a solar phone charger. It's called the Power Monkey Extreme. Now we've stocked for a while now the standard Power Monkey, but the Extreme is literally the flagship of all phone chargers. In the box you get a nice toughened case to keep your battery and panel. You get a full set of accessories for all the latest phones, and as standard with the Power Monkey series, you get a set of charge plugs. I'm going to put the uh, box to one side for the moment, um, along with the plugs and the adapters, which we'll come to in a minute. When you open up the um, toughened case, the first thing that you will see is the battery unit. The Power Monkey Extreme it has a, a capacity of 9,000 milliamps. You can turn it on simply by sliding your finger across the front of the display, and when you've got a unit plugged in, you double tap it to keep it on. As you can see, without a unit um, connected, it will turn off itself. As you slide your finger across one way to turn it on, after a little while you can slide your finger across and, and turn it off. 9000 milliamp capacity, um, what that actually means is if you've got an iPhone 4, that will charge your iPhone 4 to full six times. Same with other Android phones, things like the Garmin Edge 800, again, that will, ch time, uh, that will charge it to full six times. This will even charge an iPad. The iPad it will only charge to full twice, but as you can appreciate, if you charge this unit to full, you can charge your iPad to full once and still charge your other devices like your iPhone and a GPS receiver or um, even an MP3 player or a 5 volt camera. To charge this unit up, you um, can use the enclosed solar panels. I'm going to put the case to one side at the moment, a shorter space. The enclosed panels is 3 watts of energy. Now, on a sunny day, this 3 watts of energy would charge this unit up to full in 15 hours. Obviously, that's not one day. Realistically, in the UK, it's five days in the summer. Should we not have enough sun, it does have the power adapters to charge from the mains. The mains power adapters are universal also for international usage. It comes with a, a standard plug where you can deattach the um, plug that's in there. We're in the UK, like I said, so I need to find the UK plug and reattach into the unit. That's now ready to charge the battery, the Power Monkey Extreme battery, to full via the mains. In the UK, in the winter, that's an essential part of the care. The other adapters that go and can be connected into this plug is suitable for the USA, Australia and for Europe. Now, the unit is designed for charging 5 volt devices and appliances. So, as previously mentioned, things like the iPhone, all phones, in fact, are generally 5 volts. Things like GPS receivers, MP3 players, Nintendo DS's, Playstations, um, the, not the actual Playstation, but the PSP. Any portable handheld device which uh, you would use on a day-to-day -day basis, this is likely to be able to charge. The it, the unit comes with a series of adapters for the latest phones and the latest handheld devices that are currently on the market. You have a charge cable, which is the, the main part, which will plug into the battery. And then you have a series of different connectors, which are suitable for your device. You also get a female USB. The female USB is ideal for most devices because nowadays you'll get a USB charger with the... Um, handheld device that you buy. As you can see from the, the adapters I'm laying down here now, you've got all the main phones covered. You've got the BlackBerry, the HTC, the LG, the Motorola, Nintendo DS, the Nokia, the Samsung, the Sony Ericsson. And if I haven't mentioned your phone, it's likely it's going to have a USB charger, which you can use the female USB for. Now, with the iPhone and the um, iPad, it comes with its own cable, which is supplied by um, Apple probably looks familiar if you have got an Apple product. What you can do with this is, like uh, the charge cable, it will plug directly into the USB of the unit. Once plugged in, oops, get it up the right way, once plugged in and connected to your device, the unit is ready to turn on. You slide your finger across the unit, double tap, and that will be on permanently. Sorry, let me unload my phone so my phone's ready. Slide and tap. Slide. <laughs> Slide. There you go. 
when that flashes, that is on, on a permanent basis and will be charging your device. You can see from um, the power meter on my phone that that is now taking a charge. With other devices which aren't iPhones or uh, needing the iPhone cable, you can simply use the charge cable, plug that into the device, again, you need to get the right way up, and on the opposite end, attach your adapter. This one's for the Sony Ericsson. That would then plug, plug into your phone, turn the unit on, same as I did before, and your unit would be charged. To charge this from the sun, you simply use the same cable, but you're swapping the ends. You go into this side of the unit, you plug in the socket into the unit, and this time plug in the USB into the end of the solar panel to connect it. As you can see from the dis display, if I can light that up so you see clearer, even in artificial light that is showing a charge. It's 3 watts of power, artificial lights, it's charging this unit. The sort of um, charge that would be going into that would be next to zero. Um, it's not suitable for charging off of normal household lighting. It is to be charged outdoors. However, with the cable, you get a good three metre length of cable. You can strap that then to your backpack, have that on your shoulder, on your arm, um, out and about, charging your unit while the unit is tucked away in your bag, in its toughened case. And then once that is charged, once that's got the energy in it, you can then plug it to your phone. Most standard phones, this will charge up to full 12 times. It's only the Android phones and the higher capacity phones like the iPhones and the um, Garmin's which um, will only be charged six times, but that's plenty enough um, for a family holiday or the most active adventurer. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Um, you can get hold of us on 0845 094 1250 or visit us online at www.thesolarcentre.co.uk. Thank you ever so much.